members of the committee who selected me for this honor. I'm bewildered when you hear what I'm going to say. I'm 98 years old. <laughs> so I'm going to lie up here. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> I was a senior at the Rosterman Athenaeum and Mechanics Institute 75 years ago. Wow. I joined the Institute 10 years later as a faculty member and must tell you that I was always grateful that whoever looked at my records and had some understanding for individual differences, I made the game right. For that I am I'm, I'm grateful and thankful for what else can you say. I was impressed with the idea that a man called Henry Long and all of the colleagues that he had in starting industry in Rochester, bringing the city with their industry and their merchandise and smearing it through the center of the city, they decided to make a building called Mechanics Institute. And I must tell you, ladies and gentlemen, we're so proud of the, the, the uh, campus of this school, rightfully so, where it's grown to the need of young people of the day, but I'm going to tell you something. I think I was on a better campus. We have the heart of the city of Rochester, downtown, within walking distance of the Institute to supplement much of what we were learning and could not learn in four rooms of a building. And our student could not exist by having our taught with what you could see in four walls of any kind. You had to get with nature, you had to get with man-made things, and the inspirations and the ideas came from that kind of a laboratory. For that, I've always been grateful that I had the opportunity, had my eyes open, to that kind of a possibility. The great thing was that we, we had a faculty that entirely was paving the way for something we never knew. First of all, we never had professors. Everyone was an instructor. And we never had any, any directors of a school. We had departments. And we had a president whose name rightfully was president, but he was a principal. <laughs> and our whole administration of the building in Main Street or Plymouth Avenue in Rochester was like a high school because that's the way it was all over the country. Nothing unique in the sense that mechanics did it, but they did it with style. And they did it with the fact that we had a democracy where the students had a real part in operating the campus in the sense and in one case, they decided how much the athletic teams were going to spend for the schedules that they were playing. Mm -hmm. They had to be voted by the students. We felt the need for also doing something as a community, meaning the Institute, who found ways of entertaining ourselves and participating and bringing some of the culture and the stars and the top entertainment. We were within walking distance of the Eastman School of Music. We had affairs with the students in conducting reminiscing with, with the opera workshop and participating at the level with, with that kind of talent. We had the theaters, we had a hotel within walking distance. All of our major functions were in places that we didn't know. The hotels had all of our festivities of large banquets such as this. We were, with, we were beyond the campus in the sense the life that we saw around us was part of us. And the people who came to the Institute were people who were the, the workers of the, rest, of the restaurants, the stores, the, the, the hospitals, the manufacturing concerns. They had been walking distance of where they had a, 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 a job. And they had, they had that cooperation in, in terms of our work programs. Where people work while they went to school. Well, the nice thing of it all is, Randall, who was president at that time, 
which a man who has some, some foresightedness of what they call becoming popular education that many of the private schools have hung in on. Schools that put you as the first person that was important, not the faculty, not the equipment, but you, the student. And so we found among that, we didn't have any athletic programs where we allowed the public yet. And we had our own entertainment with dancing in the, in the, in the middle of the day, and we mixed in with other departments. Heaven knows that you might have backed out of one room and you might have backed right into another major area. We never thought of that. We thought of the students and we were one. And we all cheered for it and we stood for it. That brought out a family for you. And indeed it did it to this day. If you talk to any person who was at that time in their education, they'll say, the first thing they'll say, I remember it was just like a family. That meant a lot to us because it saved a lot of us. And we had a marketing system that made sense to us and we appreciated it. What's the difference between the 93 and the 92 in art or in photography? We didn't look at it that way. And our marketing was H for honor, G for diploma, and L, which meant that you're all right, only you're a little slow. <laughs> <laughs> we should give you a little more time, and you could graduate almost by being minus one project. And they would say, you're doing fine, and you're meeting our requirements, but you're not up to date. As soon as you finish that project, we'll give you the diploma. And there was always that end for faith in yourself that something's worthwhile here. That I'm important here. And I felt that you could fit in with the rest of them without saying, well, he gets all the awards. She gets all the awards. I get nothing. And nothing would be this. That you're challenged to say that you're given somehow a blessed event of experiences and talent. And you have, and you have two degrees. The test would be, where do you start? Where do you finish? That's the award system. That's the way it's in sense. So we never had halls of fame. We never had, we never had dinners for, for, for people who were better than someone else. We joined it all together. And we saw life that way together. We'll do the best we can. So with that all in mind, what more, what, what more could you ask for the fact that they saw individual differences made it possible for a lot of us to make it. In all of the institutions I've gone, in all the other experiences I've had, I'm so thankful for it, and I'm going to say something. RIT made the difference. It made the difference. And I'd like to say, I'm honored to say that the institute had nine presidents. I took the hands of seven of them. And I count that as an honor and an experience I'll never forget. I'll explain it to you, but this is the place and the time. Now then, I'd like to add it all up. What did it mean to me? What did, what did it do for me? I remember a little story. I had a grandfather who was a section of a church in Anvil, Pennsylvania. Large families, I'm one of eight kids. The grandfather had eight children. The same logic that we met frequently for the inspiration that we got from group me. He said to me, Stan, why don't you come over to the church Sunday? Help me bring the bells. I said, I never heard of that. He said, you come over and I'll show you. I went to the church one Sunday morning, in time for him to ring the bell, and we climbed up the stairs, an old rugged one, and on the top was a platform with a rope coming down. He said, now, when I pull that rope, Stan, you hold on to that, it'll take you right up into the steeple. <laughs> and I believed it. And I pulled the rope, the bell swung, took me up, and came down and way down and said, what a man. He said, you know, Stan, I want to tell you something. That rope is like life. He said, if you pull it long enough, and conscientiously enough, you might hear something the bell. Well, I believed that. And I tried that, but it came very difficult. I had, to, I had trouble hearing. I said, well, there's got to be a way. 
so I got my family, I got my, my students, and I, I got the faculty, and I help, they helped me pull that back, and helped me talk to understand the things. And I've been hearing it ever since. <laughs> and to people who are retiring, let's stand tall, let's be courageous, let's have it. Thank you. Wow.